Hi guys, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone is enjoying 2014 so far. As I mentioned in my last video, I purchased a pre-owned Louis Vuitton bag off eBay last week. Uh, so I just want to do a quick video to share with you guys. It's actually a monogram bag. Uh, if you have watched uh, my other videos, which consists of 90% of my collection so far, you probably have noticed that I don't have any monogram bags uh, because you know, I just can't handle the Vachetta leather. Um, yeah, I'll just go and get so stressed out, you know, try to keep it clean and all that stuff. I do like the tan Vachetta leather look, but without the watermarks and dirt, which is almost impossible to avoid. So I don't think I will ever spend full price to buy the brand new Marie Grand bags, you know, at the boutique, but I have been such on eBay on and off the past few years. Um, to see if there's any pre-owned monogram bags I'll be interested in, but yeah, I just never haven't really haven't really find anything that's in excellent condition, but the price was still pretty good. Um, yeah, until last weekend, I did find something, um, and the price was very good, and then the uh, seller was very nice. He had, um, you know fair amount or number of good feedbacks from San Louis Vuitton Islands. So yeah, so I purchased the bag. Let me show you what I got. Ta -da! This is actually from Louis Vuitton's men's collection. The bag is called um, Cabas Broomberg. And as you can see, it's a very simple and understated tote bag. Uh, the only Vachetta leather this bag has is here, like the trimming. Uh, it's already, like the Vachetta is already dark a little bit. It's very clean. The bag is in very good condition, almost excellent, like new condition. Um, but the bag was made in 2008 based on the date code. Uh, the only thing that you know the seller told me there was only thing on the back i don't even know if you can see me in oh, looks like you probably can see some there's some white marks here uh not really that uh obvious but uh i guess it was uh rubbed against something so which is i guess it's you know, it still could happen even with the quality canvas uh, because, you know, people think that it's, you know, indestructible, but, you know, it still happens. It could have, like, get rubbed off, stuff like that. But besides the little, this, this little white mark here, which is on the bottom of the back, um, everything else it basically look, you know, like new. So this is, uh, it was great. And um, um, I'm just going to quick show you uh, I believe the dimension is um, the length, I think it's 14 something, and then the height is 15, and then the uh, the width is about 4.7 when you um, open the back up. There's a, there's a, like snaps on the side if you want to, you know, kind of make bags like narrow, more narrow, or you want to open up so you can carry more stuff. Uh, so if you open complete um, up then I think it's 4.7 inches here on the side. Uh, I mean the, the width. So yeah, and then this bag is more of uh, I guess um, north-south bag. So it's it's like taller, just a little bit taller. Um, yeah, just a little bit. I believe it's 14 times 15. Um, yeah, so the actual strap is this uh, uh, cam canvas material, or you call like um, uh, textile material, and then you know it show it says like Louis Vuitton, like on the actual straps here. I don't know if you should be able to see. Um, so this kind of strap, um, I'll be using a lot on their um, men's bag, uh, like on the men's collections, and all those like uh, messenger bag and you know, suitcase maybe even, or have this kind of um, canvas straps. Yeah, so, and then like here on the top, it has like rivers, I guess here. So yeah, and then it's kind of wide open, no zipper on the top, and then um, just one, 
I don't know if you can see like one big um, zip pocket on one side, which I believe you can put laptop on. This is just going to be a quick uh, review and then I'm going to try to do a, a detailed review um, video maybe a month or two after I use this bag. So, and then besides this one zip uh, pocket, it also has two little pockets. One is like, almost like a cell phone pocket, the old cell phone pocket, and then there's like, another uh, decent size slip pocket. And the D-rings inside here. Um, and then this one is, I don't know if you can see, it's many friends. Yeah, um, this is, um, this is still currently um, being sold on Louis Vuitton website, so you sure can find uh, more detail on this bag. Again, this is not a popular bag, I would say, so maybe that's why I was able to get a pretty good price. Um, I think their um, men's bag, it just doesn't retain value as good as uh, women's bags uh, when you want to like re uh, we sell them. But anyway, so um, yeah, so the bottom is like this, no fit, nothing. But uh, yeah, it's just very simple bag. Um, and then on their website right now, it's retail for um, $1,220, which I think it's like pretty high, just uh, based on how um, like simple this bag is. But I was able to get uh, this bag at less than half of the retail price. So yeah, so I think it was a pretty good deal. Um, yeah, so I was happy about it. So yeah, um, so uh, I like the bag a lot. Oh, by the way, there's also a um, front pocket, slip pocket. It's, it goes all the way down to the bottom here, so you can pull like a few stuff like your key and then maybe your cell uh, iPhone. You can put both in here. Um, yeah, so it's pretty simple, but I just need something that's um, like functional. Uh, I don't if you see, you know, most of my bags and they're all very functional bags. Uh, uh, there are a lot of Louis Vuitton bags that are just so pretty, look so luxurious, but. Um, you know, if I'm billionaire, popular will buy some of them, but some of the bags, you know, I'll just never use. You know, if I had extra money, I'd probably just buy them and just look at them and I'll be happy about it. But, uh, you know, I would just never use it because it's just not my style. And you, you probably have to, um, if you look at my other videos, you, you know, I'm, you probably notice that I'm a tote bag girl. So, yeah, so I just want to buy something that's more practical, um, especially, um, after the baby and stuff and then yeah so yeah so if you have any questions in the meantime um please comment below let me know um and then i will do a detailed review a video of the bag maybe a month or two from now so yeah that's it um yeah i hope everyone's doing well and i will talk to you next time all right thanks bye